Hello and welcome to part 13 of my Pokemon Black walkthrough and I am on Route 5 and I'm, out, I'm about to go to Driftfield City. That's where the next gym is located. And let's see what these are. Oh, what? Oh yeah. This way. I know, that's the only way, dude. So, she's calling someone. Oh. I guess that was the new gym there. That's pretty cool animation. Well, get into the line, dude. So, okay, so this is the bridge. Yeah, this is the bridge, guys. If you didn't know, this is called the bridge, you have to say. So, yeah, you, you will see some shadows like this. And when you enter here, you will find an item. That's a half wing, by the way. Oh, yeah, these wings are new items introduced in Pokemon Unova region, basically, in the fifth generation. And they raise one of the, the stats and. When you hear that sound, like flapping wing sound, that's a that's a bird. I'm not gonna say which one, but I'm gonna encounter one now. So you're gonna have to see those shadows, and either you're gonna pick up an item, or it's gonna be a Pokemon, a wild Pokemon, which you can catch. So I'm trying to find one right now. Okay, no. Let's go back. I want to encounter a Pokemon. Oh, there we go. Not another item. Where is the Pokemon? Finally! Finally! Wow! Okay, Ducklet. That's it. This is it. This is it. Ducklet. That's what I've been searching for all this time. A freaking Ducklet. Okay, it's a flying and a water type Pokemon. It's not a bad Pokemon. I mean, if you want to use a flying and water type p Pokemon on your team, then this is it. I mean, it's not as strong as my Shalmurai, it's not as strong as your starter or some other water types in this game, but it's pretty good. It's pretty decent. And it's a swan when it evolves, so not bad. And I'm going to kill it, because it tortured me. Now I'm going to torture it, so this is my revenge. Yeah, it's not that powerful, but in the way it evolves, it's not that bad. Okay, die. That's it. Okay. Okay, nice. Let me just show you how many wings I have collected when I was trying to find it. That's it. Where the, where the fuck are the wings? That's not, that's not it. Oh, there we go. See? Look at all this stuff. Yeah. What's this? Okay. That's useful, apparently. Anyway, yeah. It took me like three minutes or five minutes to catch it. Uh, not catch it, but find it. So, she's gonna say something interesting. Yeah, this bridge was also called a Charles Up Bridge. So that's cool. <sighs> Finally, I get to move on. So this is the gym leader of this new city. And of course, things are not that easy, so you just enter a new city and you just battle a gym leader. No. First, I have to go and find Team Plasma and defeat them and all that stuff. I usually do in the Pokemon games, fight the bad guys. So yeah, Trainer's pretty excited about that, but I'm not. Okay. Now in this house right over here, if you talk to him, he's gonna teach one of your starters a move. Depending on which Pokemon it is. For example, let's take out Shelmurai. And he's gonna teach either a water pledge or a fire pledge or a Grass Pledge to your Pokemon, and it's not really that powerful, it only has 50 base power, but 
if you use it in a double battle with another Pokemon that knows one of those moves, it's gonna create a combo and a weird effect. I don't know all of them, but it's not that useful. It's it's not worth it, basically. It's not that good. So what's over here? So definitely it's not a move that you need. It's not powerful and you need to have another Pokemon in wild battle. So this is a quite interesting thing. If you talk to someone, the text shows up, right? Just say yes. But if you talk to her, because she's old, her text is going to show up slower, so... Pretty neat, neat tweak. Not tweak, but you know, feature, I guess. I don't know why I want to show that out, but you know. Oh, there's an item over here. I just found Ultra Ball in a Pokeball, so that's awesome. Yeah, that's interesting. In anime, there was one episode where uh, Ash caught a, a Japanese food, I don't know what that's called. Sushi, no, no, Rice Ball, Rice Ball, that's it. A Rice Ball in a Pokeball. And yeah, basically, in anime, when you find an item, it was never happened, but it only happened once. Basically, you see a Pokeball on the ground because it, it really is a Pokeball. And inside the Pokemon, there is an item located. So my question is, if you find a Pokeball and you open it and there's an item inside, can you just already use the Pokeball you found? I mean, yeah, I found the Ultra Ball inside the Pokeball, but why can't I just pick up the Pokeball itself so I can have Pokeball and Ultra Ball? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay, Moomoo Moo Milk. This item is great. It's cheap and it heals out 100 HP. It's really good. And I am going to buy you can buy one dozen it's gonna be like six moon mix I, I, I don't remember no 12 much better 12 moon mix for 6,000 that's a great deal I'm gonna buy another yeah totally worth it just buy them all it's it's really useful I mean 100 HP it's great what do you have to say there's this biker coming over here. Fight me. Yes. This guy is actually kinda cool, cause now we're gonna have a special kind of battle introduced in this generation. A rotation battle. It's like 3-on-3. Three three. You know double battles? Well, this is 3-on-3 three three battles, which are also introduced in this generation, but this is a rotation battle. In this battle, I get to rotate my Pokemon. And it's really interesting. I mean, it's fun. But also kind of complicated, but not that much. Okay, so now I'm obviously in a disadvantage because I'm a Psychic type, right? So I'm just going to rotate and switch up. It's like switching out. Okay, now I'm in a disadvantage again. So see how this works? He still gets to attack me. Super effective move. Uh. So yes, this is, this is really fun. I mean, it's interesting. It's something new and great. Okay, you're not gonna do anything to me, dude. I'm a fighting type. I think I think Masonic got this. I mean, it's gonna deal with all three of them. Go, Masonic, kick some ass. And that's Bascoin. A new watch type, and you're gonna be seeing a lot of this. I mean, seriously, it's like a magic up of this generation, but it's not as weak as magic up. It's really powerful, actually. Not really, but it's a decent Pokemon. As you can see, even my double kick doesn't do that much damage. Well, it did over half, but just a little bit. It also knows Aqua Jet, and yeah, like you can see here, it's it's kind of tough to kill this guy. But oh yeah, there's two types of this. It, you know, like Shellos in fourth generation. Yeah. It's the same Pokemon, but it just looks different. The eye area looks different. So yeah. Now listen, there should be an entrance here. 
and there is an item over here. See? Like, I found Big Pearl inside a Pokeball. So can I just pick up the Pokeball and have it as a Pokeball, as an item? I don't know. Anyway, what's over here? Oh. Great. So basically, she asks you to show her a Pokemon that learns a certain move, and she wants to show up. A, I mean, she wants to see a Pokemon that learns Cut. And since I already have that type of Pokemon, I mean, do what do what learn the Cut, I guess. And she will give you a Heart Scale. The Heart Scale is really a good item. It was really rare in previous generations. It's not so much rare in this one, but it's still important. A heart Scale. You can use Heart Scales to uh, basically find a move tutor and relearn forgotten moves. And some Pokemon, when they evolve to their final form, they will unlock new moves that they only learn in the first level. But since you can't have the Pokemon on the first level, you basically can't have that move unless you use Heart Scale and give it the Heart Scale to a certain move tutor. And that move tutor will be able to reteach, relearn the old move, or in this case, new move that the Pokemon knew before. I know it's complicated, but it's useful. I mean. It's very useful. Not a bad idea. A bad idea to collect these things. And if you do know Pokemon that she wants to see, show it to her because she's gonna give a pretty decent item. Okay, this guy. Has seen 50 Pokemon. I know. Let me see for a second. Pokedex. I have seen 49 Pokemon. One Pokemon away. I I'm not, I don't remember what this guy gives you, but okay. So I don't think that's there's anything left here to do in this city. Let's move on to cold storage. Yeah. So yeah, in next part we're gonna defeat Team Plasma, and finally, I don't think if I'm gonna have time in next part, but next part, cold storage. Hey, and don't be shy, leave a comment if you want to share your thoughts, like this video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe for more content.